Hi, Charles of Sir Brooksage here, and this is my very late Friday Reads for October 6th, 2017. Now, obviously this video has gone up on Saturday. It's Saturday morning. I'm recording this on the 7th. Um, Wednesday was my sister's birthday, and my sister and my goddaughter decided last minute to travel up from New York City and spend her so she could spend her birthday with me. So from Wednesday till like 10 o'clock last night, they were here, didn't really get any reading done, didn't get any videos made, and really didn't get much sleep either, but we had uh, just an absolute blast. Uh, it was great having my family up here uh, for a few days. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting some sleep, um, hopefully tonight. Um, but now that they're gone back home, now I'm getting back on track. So... Let's dive right in. Since I didn't get to read the last couple of days and I'm participating in Paperback Junkies Itober, I'm a bit behind. I've, the bulk of my reading this weekend is going to be catching up in my reread of It. This is where I'm at. And this is where I need to be at pretty much by the end of the day to get back on schedule. So it's, yeah, it's about 166 pages or so. Uh, if I don't catch up today, um, by the end of the weekend, I'll have caught back up to where I should be. And I just closed the book and lost my page. But I do remember the page number I was on, and there it goes. Cool. Um, I'm hoping to also finish um, reading Carmilla, which is one of the Victorian books I'm reading as kind of my sort of participation in Books and Things Victober. Um, about halfway through that book is a short story. It's a short book. So I'll most likely finish that this weekend as well. The other reading, um, which came as a surprise, is I've, as you see mentioned in my other videos, I've been reading um, epic fantasy series, The Crown of Stars by Kate Elliott. This is the eponymously named final book of the series, book seven. And I started this at the end of September with just the plan to just get it started, but then mostly put it aside and read in November. But I ended up devouring it and read it for in like three or four days. I actually finished this like about half an hour before my sister and goddaughter arrived. And books six and seven were really one book. It was meant to be six books, but it was so large, the publisher broke it up into two books. So I think what made this one of my favorite books in of the seven books is because it's technically really the second half of that last book. So it's really fast paced and you get sucked right in. And I really, really enjoyed it. I'm probably going to do a review discussion video uh, of the whole series to just kind of jot down my thoughts about it and recommendations without it being spoilery because I don't want to do spoilers, especially for a big epic fantasy series like this. So look for that to come out in the next week or two. And other than that, um, that's pretty much my little catch up. I've mostly I've got to dive back into it and get caught up for that. I've got some other books I want to read later in the month that I've got um, kind of dipping into Spookathon. Um, but catching up in it this weekend and then diving back into The Exorcist next week. I want to actually try to finish The Exorcist by the end of next weekend to, because the first half of the month will be done, Sylvia Kay's Cozyathon will be done, and Spookathon will begin, and I have two novels set aside for Spookathon that I want to be able to start and will be the main reading for later on in the month. But for now, I just wanted to get back on here, get a video up, get a video out. Um, try, hopefully you can start stick to my schedule I set up for myself going forward and I'm, that's about it really just wanted to say hello and get back on here and I will have a video I might have other video out this weekend and probably definitely something up Monday and until then enjoy reading and I will talk to you soon I'll see you on Twitter like and subscribe leave me a comment if you are reading it or The Exorcist or you've read Crown of Stars or anything like that, or what your Victober uh, reads are. I'm really interested to, you know, keep that TBR list growing and growing and growing. 
So until then, this is Charles with Sir Booksage, and happy reading. <laughs>